Hello, how are you all today? I hope you're enjoying your weekend. It is Saturday and it's very late on Saturday evening. I just want to prepare today um, banga soup. I'm going to prepare it with just um, fresh tilapia fish. I have my ingredients all laid out here before me. I've got my banga extract here and this is um, 800 grams of banga extract that's banga is called a, it's palm kernel palm kernel extract um so what is soft soup i'm making today and i've got the 200 grams of that here i've got dried fish I've got crayfish I've got hot pepper a bulb of onion garlic and um, ginger two cloves of garlic and like a not sure what size this is ginger and I have got my Benetete leaves. I don't know what it's called in, the, in English. This is what I'm going to put on the surface of the banga soup. And I've got my main, um, do I call it ingredient? But um, I'm not using meat. I'm just going to use fresh tilapia um, fish. And I've got salt to taste. And also no cubes. And I also have banga spices. This is called Uziza seeds. I'm going to use about one tablespoon full of this. And this shiny one here, I don't know what it is called. If you know it, I would appreciate if you could leave a comment and tell me what it's called there. But I know it's one of those banga so, um, spices, but I don't know what it's called. Also, I've got this one too. I'm struggled. I'm going to struggle to pronounce it. I think something like Brumbebe spice. Again, it's a spice. I'm not sh exactly sure what it's called. I'm going to use that as well in my banga um, soup just to put it inside when it's almost cooked and then take it out and rinse it. Um, I think that's all my ingredients done. So I'm going to start cooking now. And that is my palm kernel extract in the tea. I'm going to pour this in my pot now. That's what it looks like now. What I'm going to do is to pour water into this jar, rinse it out and then pour it inside to make it into a proper a watery paste. That's my banga paste now. I'm going to allow this now to boil for about 5 to 10 minutes. Whilst that is boiling, I'm going to now blend my other ingredients, my onions, pepper, garlic, ginger, crayfish, and this uziza and this shiny spices. That's my onions chopped in the blender. I'm going to add my pepper now. And pour in my crayfish. I'm just gonna use one clove of garlic and like a thumb of um, ginger, one tablespoon of um, what is that seed? That's one tablespoon. Of Uzi's acid. About one teaspoon of this um, shiny seed. I don't know what it is called. One teaspoon of it. The water and blend all together. That's all blended. So I'm gonna set aside my. 
I'm kind of extra, I've been boiling for about 10 minutes now. Now I'm going to add my um, dried fish. I'm then going to add my blended onions, pepper, crayfish, spices, ginger, garlic, and lots inside this. And then allow to boil for a further 10 minutes. I'm going to cover up and allow to boil for a further 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes now. Hmm, I'm loving the aroma already. Okay, yes. okay I'm now going to add my my no cubes and salt to taste. That's my no cubes. One teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt. Tastes lovely. I'm gonna now leave to boil for a further five minutes before I add my fish. Yes, it's been five minutes now. Oh, it's a very lovely aroma. It's now time for me to add my fish. A fresh fish. This is my tilapia fish. It's cleaned and I put it, I seasoned it in, in salt water for about 30 minutes before taking it out. So, In addition to that, I'm going to add my spice, just put it inside, look for space in there to, look, to put it in. And then add my benedetta leaves just to put on the surface, sprinkle on the surface. I'm not using bitter leaf, I'm not using spinach or um, any other. I'm just using this just to and then cover up and allow the boil for a further 5 to 10 minutes, um, 7 to 10 minutes. This is my banga soup. I have to be careful to stir because of the fish, I don't want it to break. That's my banga soup already. I'm going to remove this um, spice, rinse it out, and keep it for future use. So you can eat it either pounded jam, you can serve the banga soup with pounded jam, eba, or even a mala. It's tasty. What again I'm going to do now is to try to, I can see some red oil at the top. I'm going to try to take it off. 
as much as I can. And get rid of it. It's from kernel soup. So this you cannot do without having that bread. But the more I'm able to take up, the better it is. Yeah, my soup done. Thank you for watching. Leave your feedback at the bottom. I'm mean, at the end of the video, and I will appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Bye.